Glenn Schultz of Performance Trust joins us on the show now. And Glenn, has the bond market priced in Fed tapering? Absolutely. The bond market is priced in Fed tapering. I think in the mind of the bond market, tapering is all but certain. So the question really becomes how much or what degree the tapering uh, will occur. Right now, people are probably pricing in something between a 15 to $20 billion reduction in the Fed's purchase program. Right now, the Federal Reserve is purchasing about $80 billion a month in assets. So we're really looking at something like a 25% reduction in the tapering program in terms of volume. So we'll see what the Fed has to say when the rate, rate setting meeting ends on Wednesday. Yesterday, we had a big rally in the market as Larry Summers withdrew his name from contention as the next Fed chair. Do you expect there'll be fallout today in the market? I think there'll be a little bit of fallout in the market, although his withdrawal from nomination for the chair is not all that surprising given the problems that he had at Harvard. So it would have been an uphill battle for uh, Sumners in terms of nomination or being confirmed as, a, as the uh, head of the Federal Reserve. The next likely candidate is Janet Yellen. She was, the, uh, she was the second candidate that people were looking at, and her supporters were very vocal in public on the Hill. And I think what actually has happened is this has caused President Obama to actually begin looking even beyond the current Board of Governors. So we have heard that he's interviewed other private citizens uh, as well for potentially consideration to the chair of the Board of, Federal Go of the Federal Reserve. If that were to happen, that would be a big surprise for the market. Right now, it looks like the odds on favorite is Janet Yellen, but there is the outside likelihood that it could be somebody that's not currently sitting on the Board of Governors. Len, thank you for that update.